Assalamualaikum. Our topic today is changes in the state of water. There are three states of water. Solid, which is called ice. Liquid, which is called water. And gas, which we call water vapor or steam. Water will change from one state to another when gaining heat or losing heat. Changing from solid to liquid, ice to water. When we heat the ice, it will gain heat. It melts and changes to water. Wow! Ice cream! Hey look! The ice cream is melting! When the ice cream gains heat from its surrounding, it melts and changes to liquid. The process of changing from solid to liquid is called melting process. solid when we put water in the refrigerator it loses heat and change to ice the process is called freezing process freezing point is zero degree Celsius changing from liquid to gas water to water vapor or steam when water is heated it gains heat it will change to water vapor or steam the process is called boiling process the boiling point is 100 degrees celsius now let us observe what will happen if we boil the water continuously Yes, the water disappeared. It has completely changed to water vapor. Look at this puddle. When the surface of water in the puddle is exposed to sunlight or surrounding heat, it changes to water vapor. When the wet clothes gain heat from the surrounding, the water from the wet clothes change to water vapor. That's why the clothes become dry. Can you see the clothes swaying? This means the wind also helps the water to dry faster. The process when water change to water vapor due to surrounding heat is called evaporation process. Evaporation process can occur at any temperature below 100 degrees Celsius. Remember, the hotter the surrounding temperature, the faster the evaporation. The bigger the surface area exposed to the surrounding temperature, the faster the evaporation. The stronger the wind, the faster the evaporation. Changing from gas to liquid, water vapor to water. When the hot water vapor touch the lid of cooking pot, it loses heat and change to water droplets. When the water vapor from the surrounding touch the outer surface of the glass, it loses heat and change to water droplets. The changing from gas to liquid, 
is called condensation process. Okay, let me summarize today's lesson. When solid change to liquid, it is called melting process. When liquid change to solid, it is called freezing process. When liquid change to gas, it is called boiling or evaporation process. And finally, when gas change to liquid, this is called condensation process. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.